What's going on, boys? It's your boy Dev back on Colts franchise. Man, it's a great day. Lions football. A couple hours after we're filming this, I'm going to be watching the game, getting hype. Colts franchise game day as well against the Las Vegas Raiders. Man, we feel good, okay? We feel amazing. We got Anthony Richardson superstar development, and it feels great. Let's take a look at our superstar quarterback, and he's got an upgrade point. He's got an upgrade point. We're going to get to choose his abilities. It's going to be nice. Now, looking at his ratings, 79 deep, 85 medium, 83 short he's playing up to, which is really, really nice. Throw on the run, 77, 78 throw under pressure. We want those to be much better. So I'm debating between building him up scrambler or just continuing with strong arm because that gives him deep and mid accuracies and potentially throw power. Going to continue strong arm. We're going to continue with strong arm. We think it gives us a pretty good upgrades. Yeah, one plus one throw power is massive now. Plus one throw under pressure, throw accuracy deep, break sack, and awareness. Huge week of upgrades. He's 22 years old. He's got 96 throw power now, throwing absolute bombs, up to 80 deep accuracy, 85 medium, 83 short, 77 on the run, 79 under pressure, so almost to 80, and 84 break sack is nice. Still with the 91 speed, 92 excel, 87 change of direction, and 88 agility. He's a beast, and let's check what abilities he gets because I want to make sure we have the right abil superstar ability. So Homer... He only gets one ability slot as of now. Homer, closer, safety valve. Passes with this ability. Improve the catching prowess of all running backs who are open on pass plays. Could be huge to get make sure Jonathan Taylor is catching all his passes. Spin cycle. Ball carries with this ability of steerable. Spin animations. Ooh, that could be nice on read options. Bulldozer. He doesn't really truck. And tight out. Passes with this ability. Improve the catching prowess of all tight ends who are open on pass plays. We're going to do that. We pass to Jelani Woods all the time. So we're going to go with tight out. And, and as he grows in overall, he will continue to uh, he will continue to get better abilities. He's only in, playing up to an 80, but he's only a 76 overall, let's remember. So, And while we're here, let's just make sure we have Quentin Nelson with the right abilities. Um, he's got Polar Elite and Win Pull Box. We need that. We He pulls a lot. And then nasty streak blockers with this ability frequently attempt to win impact blocks against linebackers and defensive backs when playing as a lineman or fullback. I think there was one we really like post up is really good. Guaranteed to win any double team block they engage in. Also threat detector is nice because it shows us blitzers. Secure protector, matador. Let's go with post up. And then he gets a third ability that we weren't even using. Are you kidding? Highlight oncoming blitzers third and fourth down. Screen protector, lifeguard, matador, blockers with this ability have stronger protection against dominant bull rush moves. Secure protector, blockers with this ability reduce a rusher's chance of using quick block shed moves. That would help the run up the middle a lot. So we're going to do that. Secure protector, post up, pull early. Now we've got a dilemma. Will French is the starting center. Yes, Ryan Kelly injured torn labrum you saw it in the last episode torn labrum justin Britt, torn fucking labrum michael pittman torn fucking labrum guys this is a problem with the labrums and so i think what we're gonna do instead of signing someone is we're gonna put backup left tackle blake freeland in and hope hope that bernard raymond or Braden Smith do not get injured this game. And we're going to go look at the free agents as well and see if there's anybody worth signing. But we've, we've been there before. We signed Justin Britt. Not a ton of options. So now what we will do is Doolin is, is moving down the depth chart. Downs has been great. And I want him at wide receiver too. McKenzie is a great speed threat. But I want him at wide receiver too. Are we using the correct abilities on Jonathan Taylor? Evasive, tank, 
and Bruiser, I think, was what we wanted. Let's go over to defense. Quiddy Pay's got an upgrade. Nice. Let's make sure we've got the right abilities on Buckner. This is an ability upgrade episode. Unstoppable Force, El Toro. They receive dominant bull rush wins when their pass rush points are full. Under pressure. They can apply pressure to the quarterback. We need something that like helps him shoot the right hole, man. Is that possible? Inside stuff. Yeah, that works a lot. I like that one a lot. Um, adrenaline rush. Pass rushers will have all of their pass rush move points restored after sacking the QB. Reach elite could be really nice. I don't think under pressure ever works because he's not really a pass rusher. So we're going to go with reach elite because he's he, he doesn't get a lot of pass rush. He only has 84 finesse move. You know, he's a, he's a beast, but he just doesn't get a lot of sacks. This team needs a ton of work. I mean, we we only have three superstar better players. Now was two, now three. No, four. Was three, now four with Richardson. So, weekly awards. Obviously, Richardson won it. 342 pass yards with three passing touchdowns, seven carries for 14 yards with two rushing touchdowns, five total touchdowns. He went off. He went off. And we feel like we could continue dominance against this Raider team. Let's view the playoff picture. If the season ended today, we would be playing the Bengals still. This is a team we had an absolute barn burner against earlier in the in this season. And we feel like we could potentially give them a really tough opening round and potentially win this game. If we can play our best brand of football, we lost because of a couple missed throws. Richardson continuing to build. Our defense was struggling. Our defense has been playing a lot better. We want to continue to build off this momentum and dominate. So let's get ready for week 17 against the Raiders and then play this game. Let's get into it. First, we're going to check players ready to negotiate. Make sure we don't have anybody we want to hang on to. Kenny Moore, he's 28. We have two corners in the draft that we absolutely love. Now, we could do like a sign and trade with him. If we sign him and then immediately trade him for a pick, that gets us in contention for those two corners. I'd be happy with that. Isaiah McKenzie has played well at times. He wants $18 million over three years, $6 million in total. Kenny Moore wants $11 million for one year. I just don't feel like he's been that good. I don't think he's earned that. He's had a couple of good games, and there's nobody in here that we really want to hang on to except we're definitely going to take quitty pays fifth year option it's at the very end so mckenzie probably going to let him go i feel like we're going to be able to get younger as good players in free agency and then more is tough i'd give him a one-year deal i would give him a one-year deal and then potentially look to trade him we'd eat a, a little bit of cap but we also could franchise tag him for a year it doesn't count as much towards the cap i believe we're gonna continue to hold off on that and we'll re we'll readdress that in week 18 so trench boost discuss the play of your o-line who have been playing well i'd say the amount of sacks you allow against the raiders will determine how much xp your each offensive lineman earns okay well this should be interesting our starting neither of us are our centers are playing right now so let's get some upgrades going block good and we'll get good xp for our guys so let's continue to make him a better rusher man he's got to get after the quarterback way more plus two power move plus one strength is a great upgrade he's 24 years old up to 81 power move now he was 79 so in the 80s he's developing well and we've seen flashes from him he had a couple sack game uh, a couple games ago i believe was it last week i don't think so but Isaiah McKenzie with an upgrade. Uh, we'll go playmaker for him. Hopefully he gets a speed upgrade. No, just a bunch of good route running upgrades and a couple of catching. He's okay. Will Fries, offensive lineman. He's starting to develop, but not. we can draft somebody way better in the draft. So Jake Witt, I was thinking Justin Britt. The rhyming is fucking me up. <laughs> Weekly strategy this week. They are terrible at passing the ball. And they run the ball pretty well. 
Now, we have not been torched by the run really all year, I feel like, since Cam Akers went nuts. We've been fine. I'd rather defend the deep pass or the short pass and just not get screwed by the quarterback, which continues to happen, and then come and make an adjustment at halftime to run. But we're going to start with the pass because they seem to always pass against us. And then this is a defense we can dominate. This is a defense we can absolutely dominate, guys. They're number five against the pass. They are number nine against the rush. They're the number one defense allowing the most points per game in the league or wait i'm an idiot they're one of the best defenses in the league they allow the ninth least rushing yards the fifth least passing yards and the number one least points per game in the league which is absolutely mind-blowing it's the las vegas raiders this team is fighting for a playoff spot right now and we want to knock them out of contention in the afc so we are going to run outside I feel like but then I say they've got Max Crosby you know deep threat their best corner is a normal development Marcus Peters like are you kidding we're a new blitz counter to get rid of the blitz from we want to do blitz counter because our offensive linemen are getting XP dependent upon the sacks that they allow so this will kind of build upon that and give them a better chance and then let's get into anthony richardson's we did blitz counter so let's do pass skeleton and see if we can get gold this has been really hard to get gold on for us it's been really hard dude there's nobody open we get bronze that was dog shit let's look at our weekly game plan one thing we will do is look at free agency before the game starts because without Michael Pittman, our receiver room is pretty god-awful. So we probably will look to keep the ball on the ground. Uh, Yeah, with that being said, I think I force three turnovers is probably not likely. We're going to do get one interception. Defensive coordinator, allow 24 or less points. This isn't really a great offense. Offensive coordinator... Let's go 350 offensive yards and then win the turnover battle. You know the drill, baby. We're definitely going to look at, did I adjust the pads? I didn't. They're on full pads. And Taekwon Lewis has got a hit pointer. We don't really care. He doesn't really play, and he's gone next year. Offense... We got a little bit of fatigue going for some of our starters, which is not good. But no injuries. We can't afford any more. And we got some upgrades now. Post-practice upgrade. Julius Brents going up to a 76, hopefully. Let's continue to get him better in zone coverage, which is what we like to play. He has had a very underwhelming rookie year. So we hope that he can kind of take the, the, take the next step in year two. Plus two zone is a nice start. 83 zone coverage now for him. 71 man is pretty bad. So we may start building man coverage on him. But he's only a rookie, but he is already 23 years old as a rookie. So something to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at free agency real quick. We might need to sign if there's any good receivers, if there's any good linemen. You know, I mean, Jason Peters, 74 overall. Oh, man, they're so old. 37, 41 years old for Jason Peters. That is a walking coffin. Just kidding. Pause. <laughs> Just kidding. But, man, he's old as hell. He is old as dirt to be playing football still. Billy Price, uh, he's 69 overall, man. I mean, come on. There's nobody really good. and th I mean, that makes sense. Why would there be? They're all so old. They're so old. I mean, Billy Price is decent. He's the best. Or Nick Harris. Like, they're they're decent. If somebody gets injured, we'll sign them. But for now, Blake Freeland's going to play center for us. We've got one upgrade available. Kind of want to hang on to the staff points until we get to the playoffs so we can just make a quick adjustment. So we're going to hang on to those. Wanted to look at free agent wide receivers as well. Now, I didn't see anybody... 
That was amazing. Julio Jones could be interesting to sign. He would be the second best receiver on our team. Also was looking at like Marquise Goodwin or Robbie Chosen. Robbie Anderson changed his name to Chosen. It's so dumb. It's it's so stupid. <laughs> um, it, it, 95 speed, though, for both of these guys would be great. Would be really great to generate. Just, just bring some speed to the team. So I'm debating about signing Marquise Goodwin. He is a bridge player and mentor tag. All these guys get that. But I, I think having the speed would just be nice. Like outside of McKenzie, but McKenzie's not even that fast. Like this is 95 speed would be the best on our team. He's 32 years old. None of these guys would be more than a rental. Dude, $2 million. $2 million to bring him on. Or do we bring Robbie Chosen, who's a couple years younger, less acceleration. Probably be better. He's not a mentor though. He's just a bridge player. Or do we bring Julio Jones, NFL legend, only 90 speed, but he's very, very similar. He's like a much worse Michael Pittman. We're going to do it, man. We're signing Julio. Oh, dude, he wants more $3 million, but it's just for this year. So it's not going to affect. Will it affect our cap hit for next year? Like when we sign free agents and stuff, because that will be a huge deal. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We need help at receiver. I just I just think that that's going to limit us. We're signing Julio Jones, baby. Welcome. NFL legend. One of the best receivers in NFL history is coming to the Indianapolis Colts. He's going to step in, I think, in wide receiver four role. I'd like the rookies to get more involved. But he will step in in four wide receiver sets. You know, it's good. It's not going to be anything major, but you know, I don't want him to take away from the development of my rookies. You know, Josh Downs has a chance to develop. You know, he he still could be decent. We have to cut a player, and they want me to cut Rodney Thomas. Are you, are you out of your mind? He's been crushing it. They want me to <laughs> cut the player I just signed. Um, Titus Leo, see ya. Had to move my camera to the other side of the screen because looking at league leaders, we have two of the top three interception leaders. Andre Sisco holding the top spot by a mile, yes. But Rodney Thomas has put himself into the top three with five picks. He's got three picks in our last two games, I believe. He's been unbelievable. And we're crushing it. Jonathan Taylor leading the league by a mile now, 250 yards ahead of Christian McCaffrey with 20 TDs. And let's see what we can do this week. We're heading into the game. Let's get after it. Ready to run through a brick wall. These Indianapolis Colts cannot be stopped on their quest for glory. <laughs> let's just get into the fucking game. I'm in the bottom left this time. Not sure if I like it. I'm in the bottom left. And we're getting the ball first. We are getting the ball first. And we're going to get a chance to make this team pay. Doolin back to receive. Could he get his first touchdown of the year returning kicks? He's got space. Just need one block. The most mediocre kick returner in NFL history, Ashton Doolin. And we're coming out in mesh spot immediately. Going to give these receivers a chance. Downs drop the football. It was a tough one. They had guys underneath. Look at these injuries. Michael Pittman, Ryan Kelly, Justin Britt all have torn labrums. All of them. <laughs> I mean, stuff of nightmares. And we are not. Oh, man. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Our, our line got blown off the line of scrimmage. PA bubble over. Looking for Woods to make some magic happen. We added abilities for tight out. Oh, Woods is bumped at the line. Richard should just be faster. He is. Give me a block, Taylor. Down the sideline. Slide. Anthony Richardson. Difference maker at quarterback. 24-yard rush. Make something out of nothing, big fella. Oh, my God. 
beats Max Crosby to the edge. And we're off to the races. We're going to run this football. Look at the space with Taylor. Guy comes backside. Eight yards. Man, what a start to this game. We thought potentially we're going to have to punt. There's nobody open. And Anthony Richardson shows why we took him number four overall in the draft last year. Oh, man. What, he fumbled the football, and we turned it over. Are you kidding? Dude, that has to be overruled. Was he down? That's got to be overturned. It is. I, I thought he was down. And now we're looking at a situation where, man, like we... I'm actually... No. Got Mallory. There we go. Sharif, my boy, put me onto the mesh spot. And it works to perfection on that one. Finding Will Mallory for the completion and the first down. We are in field goal range. And bites down. I've got blockers. I've got blockers. Just... I try to... <laughs> Try to slide, he dives. Thank God he didn't fumble. And, dude, he is running the football with intent to score every time. He looks amazing. Pierce catches the football. Great catch, great return. Working back to the football. Very impressive catch from, who is that? From Alec Pierce. The Cincinnati man and Jonathan Taylor punch it in. Huge pancake block from Nelson. We can't get in. Down to the two-yard line. We're going to pass this. This might be dumb, but look at Woods. If he just sits down. Nope, covered. That's going to be a sack, and that's going to affect our XP. Oh, no. That's going to affect our XP. Going mess spot again, man. Going mess spot. Nowhere to go. Just throw it away. Nowhere to go. Inside the four. We're not settling here. We will not settle. We will not settle for a field goal inside the four. Keying on Taylor. I like this run front. Are you kidding? Fourth and goal. Can't get there. I don't get any blocks. Nobody went to the second level. Oh, dude, we try to run the football. Man, that's brutal. We try to run the football. We, we get four chances inside the five. Couldn't do it. And this defense proving why they're one of the best. We dominated them all the way down the field and just couldn't punch it in. We're, we're in, have them inside the two-yard line. If we can shoot a gap, we could. They're in goal line normal. They're going to run this football. We're probably going to get it back. That's why we were willing Buck in there. That's why we were willing to go for it. We hold them. The defense standing tall. Three runs in a row. We're going to try and block this. We are going to try and block this. He's in the back of his end zone. We didn't get there. You've got to be kidding me. We couldn't get there. Doolin. Jukes. Okay. A little, little something from Doolin there. You love to see it. I need my line to give me a little bit more fight here. Oh, cut back. He sheds his block immediately. Sheds his block immediately. Gonna run it again. That time, there's nothing. What is happening? They run commit. Oh my god, dude. This is a freaking nightmare. Why is this one of the best defenses in the league? The Raiders? They have no one. Got Taylor. Just get the first down. Let's go, baby. Can't come away with no points again. We're going RP alert screen. We're looking for McKenzie here. Got him. 
Oh, tried to make a juke. And we're going shock H option, our favorite play. But I like the run front. I'm audibling to a zone. Inside zone. Give me a block. Blockers. Let's go. 8 for 24 is pretty terrible. We've had a lot of trouble running the football so far. I like Taylor on this usually. Got him. Got him! Touchdown! Jonathan Taylor! Anthony Richardson delivers a strike on the money. Red zone scissors route. It works to perfection. And just like that, we're going up 7 nothing, boys. This team has a lot of fight. Holding them there inside the 5 was massive. Was massive because it felt like we, we, were, we were okay with going for it because we knew that they were probably going to run it a bunch. Speed and Franklin in the box. Just get to the edge. On there. Meet him in the backfield. EJ Speed. We've got Cross and Leonard in the box. Thomas and Cisco back at safeties. We're, we got Thomas. We're coming down. Meet him. Oh, I run past him. That's okay. Quitty pay there to clean up. Got Cisco and Thomas in the box. Playing QB contain. He's got Devontae Adams wide open. Oh, oh my God. I couldn't stick with him. We would have had another guy coming right over the middle. Just can't give him that much time. That's way too much time. Oh, man. That's brutal. It's Devontae Adams, though. The buck. There we go, baby. Five rushes for negative one yards. This is why I wasn't worried about focusing on the run. Because I know that we're probably just going to dominate anyways. Shift the line to the right. What's the penalty? Please don't be on us. Who roughed the passer? We had him, man. Odenic Bo, you idiot. Dude, Odenic Bo, come on, bro. Are you kidding? That's so frustrating. Huge tackle by Julius Brents. Loss of four. He's been really good in open field tackling, just not very good at like generating a lot of turnovers. That's like he hasn't been that bad. All right, let's shoot the gap here. We can't get he gets her on the edge. Rush makes a backside play coming from the back pause. Coming from the backside, Rush makes a huge tackle. We've got to put something together here. Got to stop him. Go get him. Let's go. Should have been a sack. But we generate pressure. Odenic Bow gets there. And it's going to be a long field goal from the 35. Daniel Carlson, though, superstar kicker. Rush, block it. Can't get there. Daniel Carlson's going to put it through easily. One of the best kickers in the NFL. But they will get the ball at half. We have to capitalize with points on this drive. Doolin! I thought he had a chance. Maybe a new Ashton Doolin. We're seeing form right in front of us. Reading on the end. Reading on Chandler Jones over there. He bites down. We can't get any space. We get tackled for a loss. Got Woods. Just get her on the edge. He makes a diving tackle. Epps going empty here. We've got Woods. We've got our route. We've got what we like. Got him. Let's go. Huge completion. Jelani Woods. Again, the tight out ability probably working to our advantage there. Isaiah Simmons plays for the Raiders now. Some trades were made apparently. And we're going to have a single high safety here. Make him pick. Woods open. What? Dude. Oh, that's one of the more unbelievable interceptions I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? He drops immediately. We didn't even throw a bullet. There's a little bit of air on under that. And he jumps probably a foot and a half off the line, off the ground, maybe two feet off the ground. Oh, and picks the ball off. Unbelievable play by Trayvon Morig. I'm not mad at that, man. We're going to take that shot every time, but, dude, that's brutal. And we've 
Jacobs has got blockers. Damn it, dude. Let's see if our safeties can make a play back. Get him underneath. Cisco, what are you doing? We're going to start playing man blitz. I want to bring a blitz. I want to make them rattled. Coming out in DB fire, actually. Going to play a little bit of a zone blitz. Got him there. We're going to adjust our flats to play at five so they don't drop so low, so deep. And we're going to come out again in the same blitz. I got Cisco. I'm sprinting immediately to Devontae Adams. We've got blitzers coming. Dude, immediately makes the read. That's the thing that's tough about blitzing the QB on, on the computer sometimes is that they don't make the same read. Like, they instantly can make a robotic read versus a real human has to make an actual read. Dude, oh, make that in bounds. That's intercepted. Holding him to a field goal here still gives us the lead. Coming out and cover four out of dollar. Leaving the flats wide open. Fleet doesn't come back to bite us. Oh, he dropped the football. Cisco created some uncertainty. Maybe he thought that we would get there just like we did. Man, I thought we were close enough. We weren't. He's there. Oh, my God. Oh. Safety coming up. Can't get there in time. 36 seconds left. We're, we're audibling to a blitz. Covering Adams off the line. He's beat. Kenny Moore, our best corner, is beat by Jacoby Myers. Going to go bench swap here. We're going to try and make some moves, make some noise here. Got Taylor. I'm just not going to just make the stiff arm, get up field, get out of bounds. Spot go. We, Like I said, we don't have like electric receivers right now. Nobody open. Nobody open. And we could potentially be giving them the ball back. Man, this is frustrating. Drive, we're going to have Taylor coming out of the backfield on his scissors route. McKenzie in press coverage, someone to keep an eye on. We've got... Taylor makes an insane catch! Are you kidding? Get out of bounds! I forgot to go out of bounds, but oh my god! Jonathan Taylor, maybe the catch of the year that we've seen in this franchise. That was an... I thought he overthrew him. Unbelievable catch by a running back. And we're going to put him on a wheel here and see if he can beat him. I think he does. He does. Jonathan Taylor, two-way player. We're inside the five. Do we have time to take a shot? Do we have time to take a shot? I'm not sure if we do. We're going to try. We're going to try and take a shot immediately to McKenzie. We threw a pick immediately. He's wide open. Dude, he was wide fucking open. He beat him off the line. He puts the ball three feet in front of him. And it's a pick. <sighs> Richardson's playing like absolute fucking dog shit. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, not, he's not. He's not playing like dog shit. But the throwing it short has to be better. Has to be better, bro. We had a chance. I mean, we've left two field goals on the board now. One of our issues is we don't go for field goals when we probably should. If we're getting held, we need to go for a field goal there. I thought we had a chance to take a quick shot to slant, and he's gone around the edge. Kick return, touchdown. Rush, Brown, save a, save a touchdown. Thank you. Save a touchdown. Dude, I mean... Our, our kick coverage has been terrible all year. Dude, I mean, it's frustrating. You think you should go. But, dude, I mean, he's got a wide open slant. Just needs to develop. He throws it way too far out in front of him. And I'm going for this. I'm going for the sack. I miss him. Ugh! Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. That was a perfect user blitz. And we ran clean past him. Okay, he's rumbling forward for six yards. We've got man coverage. 
Got a robber coming down in Cisco. Probably just r continuing to run this football. We shoot the gap. And we get stiff-armed, and he continues to fall forward. That's that X-Factor running back, man. We're shooting the gap. It's going to be a run. It's not. Errant ball. Why are we not coming on goal line? Got Leonard. Meeting him. Meet him in the backfield. Shaq Leonard. Huge tackle for loss. Going to play nickel robber. Hoping... We can get a pick here. This can't be a run. Are you kidding? I'd be amazed. It's not. We've got to get a pick there. Are you kidding? Tony Brown, turn around and grab the football. Lately, we have really struggled to generate interceptions because we swat the football. Every time, we still are able to hold them to a field goal. Luckily. And we're going to get the ball back. 13-7. Our defense has done its job. Doolin. Nothing. If he could once return the ball past the 30, it would be amazing. Going to get back to running the football a little bit. I think we're getting a little pass happy. But we just had a couple plays. Unbelievable interception by Morig. And then that last interception, I think, was kind of BS by Epps. Oh, dude, huge pancake block. We're one man. Oh, my God. I thought we were off to the races. Jonathan Taylor having a huge game. Keying on Crosby. The left side looks unreal open. He sits down. Dude, and I mean, Nelson needs to pull a bit faster. Dude, it's, I mean, it's, gap is shot instantly. P.A. Reed. Looking for Woods or Downs on this. Good catch by Woods. Let's go, baby. We need a score here. A score puts us back in the driver's seat. They've just destroyed us. And grab full momentum. What is what is Nelson doing? What are we doing? That's so frustrating. It's really frustrating, bro. Got, I've got space with Richardson. Slide. First down. There we go. That's going to be a first down. Let's continue to move the football. Let's play smart. Let's run the ball. Oh, my God. There's nowhere to go. I bounce. I bounce off, and I'm off to the races. Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown. Are you kidding me? Amazing run. He continues to give us highlight plays every week, and we're back up in this one at Lucas Oil. Oh my God, I thought we were dead to rights at the line of scrimmage. We bounce off a huge pancake block from our pulling guard and Quentin Nelson, and we punch it in for six. Oh, dude, I shot the wrong gap. Oh, it's, it's play action. We've got a guy there. Good tackle, Julian Blackman. Julian Blackman, been a, a safety that I feel like we would have been talking about a lot more, but we just haven't. He hasn't really done much of anything, honestly. He really hasn't. Gonna audible Ebucam to a hard flat. See what that does for our coverage. And we've got guys in the area. Buckner meets him, and it is a run. We've got defenders in the area to help. No fall forward. Fourth and three. We're getting the ball back and taking momentum back. I don't know how we don't have it yet. We're in the lead. We just stopped him again. And we're getting the ball back. Doolin makes something happen. We get a block. Just go north-south. Dude, again, pretty close to breaking that one. Just going north-south. Not trying to get fancy and bounce it around the edge. He doesn't have the speed for that. Jonathan Taylor having probably one of the best all-purpose games of his career on this team. We're running counter. Blockers just... Pierce going on a streak. This could be a mistake. We're going to... Got Taylor again. Huge catch around the edge. Steps out of bounds. We haven't upgraded him at catching the ball. But he's been great. <laughs> Honestly, he's been really, really good at catching the ball. Okay. Pierce coming underneath. Woods running this like pretty crazy route. Got McKenzie. Breaking tackles. Down to the 35. Let's go. And we're going to the third quarter. 
We will take a field goal here. We're not going to play stupid. We want to win this game, and we'll continue to increase our points. But a touchdown here would be unbelievable for our chances to win. And I say, I know you guys probably think, I say unbelievable more times than any person you've ever heard. Yes. Just, oh, dude. Oh, Taylor. Hit a stiff arm. Continues rumbling forward. Are you kidding? He is going off. 15 for 94. And we're going to look for him again out of the backfield here. He's got X Factor. Looking for him at the goal line. Richardson a little bit out of reach. Had him. Would have been a touchdown. Going to run mesh spot here. Got the running back open. End zone. Taylor dropped the football. No. Oh, my God. We couldn't have timed it better. There was no safety in the area at the time. I don't know how he knocked the football out. I honestly don't. Because it was it, it was in the process of dropping. Oh, there's nobody open. Throw it away. Okay, so the dropped touchdown by Taylor. A, a sequence we've seen before on this team. A missed throw by Richardson. A dropped touchdown by Taylor. And we settle for a field goal. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. Because... Man, that's a tough pill to swallow. Really frustrating how they get sucked into animations. Okay, running back there. Nothing I can really do. Had to pick a man. Just a good route combo by the Raiders. They do run a pretty balanced attack of plays between rushing and passing. Okay, let's go get him. He's going to throw the ball away. We really need to address pass rush in the draft or in the offseason. If there is an elite rusher, we'll get him. In, the, in, in free agency, we'll try and get him. Dude, huge gap shoot and tackle by EJ Speed. There were two blockers in the hole. We evade both of them and make the tackle for loss. And just like that, it's third and 13. I'm usering Cisco. Oh, it's a, it's a screenplay. Coming backside with Cisco. Make the tackle. Initiates contact. Josh Jacobs is injured. We make the tackle, and we injure him. Sorry, buddy. This is our game. Jonathan Taylor, 94 rush yards, 30 receiving yards. Thought he had way more. He had that insanely long catch on the wheel route, I feel like. Okay, give me a block. Oh, huge block by Jelani Woods. Broken tackle by Taylor. Still going. Dude, he's going off with the broken tackles. I can't wait to see his numbers after this game. Read on McKenzie. Got him. Make a... Like to see him make a man miss. Going to run it again. Our running back has X factor. And you think we're not going to run the football? Huge block by McKenzie. Make a man miss. Jonathan Taylor. Continuing to make the first man miss every time. Whether it's a stiff arm. Whether it's a truck. Whether it is a juke. They will miss. And we're getting amazing blocking from our guys at the second level as well. Something we usually complain about. Another huge run. He's down to the 10. 18 for 146. 50 yards rushing on this drive. And we're going to continue to give it to him. Our best player. He's on pace to break, potentially break the rushing record this year. I mean, oh man. Are you, another bounced run. <laughs> Their season rank is fourth. We have 397 total yards today. Crushing them. We're inside the 10. We're not we're not passing the football. Dude, I would love a stretch here, but this is what we've got. Slam. Up the middle. He's going to walk in. Touchdown, Jonathan Taylor. Are you kidding me? It's in our hands. We're up by 11 with three minutes to go. And Brents with an opportunity for his first interception. He gets it. Julius Brents. The ball's picked off. He's going the other way. Down the sideline. Let's go. What was the penalty? It's offsides. Who was offsides? Odenic Bow. Odenic Bow has had two huge penalties in this game. And he cost Julius Brents his first interception of the series and of the season. Unbelievable. The, you you do 
make the argument that maybe maybe they don't take that shot if if he doesn't commit the penalty they probably saw him off sides took the shot huge sack quitty pay continuing to develop as a pass rusher two minutes left we've got all our dbs out on the field this is going to give us the best chance to stop him I'm covering the middle like a hawk with Cisco. If he wants to throw the ball, he's going to wish he didn't. Let's get after it. Get after the quarterback, guys. Get in. Gets crushed. Fourth and 23. They're not going to be able to make a field goal from here. They're going to have to go for it. On fourth and 23, boys, we're playing cover four. We're standing tall. We will allow them to throw it underneath. We've got the interception. Julian Blackman picks it off. We're down at the two-yard line. We have to be careful not to get a safety here. But, man, that's a huge play. Dude, Jonathan Taylor with first one free did not break the tackle. Gets one yard. Just going to continue to run here. He's got X-Factor. Use our blocks. Another one, and we don't shed a block. We have first one free, man. We're supposed to break the first tackle every time, I thought. Isn't that what it is? I mean, we're up by 11, so I'm not really risking this. Oh, dude. Huge blocks. We'll just punt it. We could have passed it and tried to seal it. We're up by 11. They haven't really been able to move the football very well. Oh, that's a terrible punt. Are you kidding? That's such a bad punt. Jesus. Who's our punter, man? He's Rigoberto Sanchez. Don't think we're going to be re-signing him. Jeez. Okay. Let's play. Just a huge completion to Hunter Renfro. He's out of bounds. These routes on the edge are starting to become a problem. Going to do coverage outside alignment. Dude, he's running the same play, and he's around. What are we doing on defense? They have no timeouts. As long as they don't get an onside kick, we're going to win this football game. And I get burned. I get burned by Michael Mayer. It's an onside kick. We're going to get our hands team on and just hope that someone can catch the football. And I've got it easily. Easily. That's going to be your ball game. 24-21, a little bit closer than we would have wanted. We're just going to kneel it out with Richardson, and that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this one. You know, a couple of missed opportunities. I feel like we probably should have dominated this team a bit more, how we played on defense for the majority of the game. That being said, I feel like we still won the football game. A couple of really bad interceptions. We had seven points at halftime. And we just dominated them in the second half. You know, they scored eight points in the second half at the very end there. Other than that, we held them scoreless. Hitman Jones, happy. His boys are up to double-digit wins. And a pretty incredible game on the ground for us. So, looking at the player stats, Anthony Richardson has played better for sure. Him and Garoppolo have the exact same passing yards. That's really weird. 70.4 uh, Passer rating, 14 for 22, 201 yards, uh, one touchdown, two interceptions for the big man under center. Jimmy Garoppolo, 97.9, 18 completions for 27 yards, 201 yards. Uh, he had a 66% completion and then two touchdowns to one pick. So one of our picks was a crazy interception by the safety. Another one was a fluky one inside the the three yard line or whatever where he just he threw it right to the defender rushing jonathan taylor 23 for 162 two touchdowns unbelievable day on the ground uh jo josh jacobs 14 for 24 he couldn't get any room and then richardson six for 43 just when he we needed him to do it had a couple insane runs Receiving, Jonathan Taylor was our leading receiver, 6 for 103 and a touchdown. Could have been two touchdowns and like uh, 20 or 30 more yards. So all together, he had a 268 yards all purpose. 
268. Hunter Renfro, 5 for 101 in a touchdown. He had a couple crazy he just kept running that out route into the you know the the curl flat area over and over at the end of the game michael mayer four for 12 uh jelani woods three for 37 nothing crazy isaiah mckenzie three for 33 um and then nobody else really had anything crazy so Devonte adams only had two for 31 locked him up one thing i will say is that i feel like our team when the receivers we michael pittman goes down our receiving room is less than ideal Jonathan Taylor was the one who stepped up and that's honestly not what I was expecting so defensively Julian Blackman had a pick and then Andre Morig also had a pick Mike Epps Marcus Epps sorry Marcus Epps had the pick in the end zone but that was the errant throw Morig was the crazy pick in the box then Blackman had the pick down the stretch to seal this one um yeah I mean we played really well i feel like on defense on offense i uh you know on offense we we played probably i i think a lot better than we you know the, the interceptions might suggest we took care of the ball um we went for it on a couple of fourth downs and that's why we didn't score as many points we definitely would have been in the 30s if we would have converted on some things so great game i'm happy with it and we're up to 10 and 6 all we're doing is just winning football games and for a first year team who started out like three and three, I think we've played really well the rest of the season. 13 points, uh, rewards for franchise points is great. We didn't win the turnover battle, but Andre Cisco gets an upgrade point. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And he's my user. So I kind of want to upgrade his hybrid. He's up to 87 zone coverage, man. That's pretty unreal for an 81 overall player. You know, I'd like to upgrade his hybrid ability, you know, that make him better in man and make him his play rec better. And he, he doesn't, he plays in the box with me a lot. We're going to upgrade. Yeah, we're upgrading this. This doesn't make him, it didn't increase his overall at all, actually, which is kind of a bummer, but plays it plus two man coverage, plus one press, plus one tackle. It makes him just more well-rounded. And he's now up to 78 man coverage, um, was a 76. So getting better at man would be huge for him. We're able to, you know, when he's in the box, man him up on a tight end and he can actually hang with them. He's got the speed for it. So huge upgrades for Cisco. He's going to continue to dominate. He'll probably get up to superstar development when he wins DB of the year. Trench boost, how do we do? I think we only allowed one sack. Yep, we did. One sack. Entire offensive line earned 2,500 XP. That's massive. That is massive for a group that has struggled, honestly, to stay healthy. All right, boys. So that's going to be it for week 17 against the Raiders. I feel like, you know, we won the game and that's what's important. 10 and 6 now. We lead this division by multiple games and it feels amazing. We've got this locked up. We're going to the playoffs. We've got this division locked up. We should be sealed at this point. Um, with one game to go, we're multiple gains up on the Jaguars. Even if they were to win, they'd be eight and eight. We're ten and six. We're going to the playoffs. That feels amazing. Our superstar quarterback leading the hell, but Jonathan Taylor, the one who took over this week, and hopefully he can continue to do that. Looking at league leaders, he's at eighteen hundred and twenty-one yards, eighteen twenty-one with twenty-two touchdowns. He has potential to break i mean with a monster game it would have to be over 200 yards and in some change he could break the single season rushing record now do i think he's going to probably not but it could happen last time we played the texans who we play again in week 18 when we played them in week two i believe uh cj stroud threw six picks so we're looking to dominate again looking to keep momentum into the playoffs and if we it's another matchup with the Bengals, we will look to dominate so i'll see you guys in week 18 last week of the regular season and if you're new here we will be streaming the off season whenever that may be once we lose streaming the off season live and we're also starting streaming at 100 subs so make sure to like and subscribe keep along with this because we are going to be crushing Colts franchise for some time to come, continue to build this group. So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.